Hey everyone, Cody here. And yeah, this is a little bit different location uh, than my garage because I'm currently at work. But anyway, what you're going to see today to, in this video is the pixel painting that I talked about in the last video. So I attempted to make the pixel painting, which is a abstract painting with a bunch of little squares of different colors. So you basically go over the colors um, in little squares over and over again and it makes like a pixel painting which you know if you know anything about photos you know they're made of pixels and usually they'll be like little squares of pic of color and it kind of makes up the whole photo kind of like a mosaic well pixel painting didn't turn out very good or at least not like i had it in my head it's it's colorful and whatever but i don't really like it um but the reason i'm saying all this and and even posting it is just so you can kind of see uh, the process that I was trying to talk about. And I even talk about in the video as you go along, some of the things I realized along the way on, on why it didn't turn out the way that I was thinking. The biggest piece of it being, um, I, I believe that kind of coloring the background, at least one solid color or a couple of the colors that you'll be using to kind of give it a background and, and cover the canvas uh, will help if you ever want to do one of these paintings. Uh, the other part of it being that I think it just, I used a very limited color palette. I think it was like five or six colors and well, you could probably pull it off. Um, I just, I just didn't go about it the right way. So ultimately the painting isn't that great. I wasn't happy with it. I, I actually didn't like it that much. Um, but again, it, if you want to watch it, if you haven't clicked off yet and you kind of want to see what I'm talking about. Go ahead and watch the video. It's a little bit of a longer video. I'm just going to give you that heads up now. And if you if, if you don't like the video or you don't want to see that, go ahead and click off now. Just thought I'd give you that heads up now so you know what you're kind of going into. Um, but that's it for this. I will head over to the table and we'll get started painting. So as you can see, we'll be using uh, acrylic today, along with some little scrapers, uh, drywall scrapers. And again, they are of different sizes. So we're gonna be trying to make some different designs and seeing what we can do here. So we're gonna start off right away um, with a small square and we're just going to scrape the paint and we'll scrape it a couple different places with the same color. And then we're gonna move right on to another one. So we're gonna put our paint right here on this little scraper. And I guess uh, since we already got some on the canvas, we'll start there. So we'll just kind of make a, a thick layer really, kind of flat, right? And, and it doesn't have to be exactly a square, but let's, uh, let's add a little bit more here. And we'll do kind of a, a line up here. How about that? All right, we'll pull that out. And maybe we'll do one more line kind of down this side right here. And then we'll move on to another color. So let's do right there, right on the edge. Okay, perfect. All right, so now that we've got our kind of first layer, we'll just move on to another color. And we'll set that aside for a minute. It's okay if it dries, we can uh, kind of scrape it off. We'll move on to another color and we'll use kind of a bigger one here. And we'll move on to this uh, teal color right here. So let's do, let's do it right around here. So we're not gonna overlap the colors yet. We kind of want them to, to dry and to harden. We're just gonna go over that. And let's make another one up here. All right. Actually, the colors are kind of coming along, I think. I actually kind of like these colors together. Got another one right there. And you'll notice that I have the wax paper and this, this cardboard underneath to protect the layers underneath. All right, so kind of got some traction going. All right, so we'll move on to another color. Let's go ahead and do this, uh, this dark red. And I was gonna do only a smaller one, but maybe we'll do this this big one right here and see if we can maybe like go like right, right there. 
And we might cut into that red or the yellow a little bit, but that's okay. Oh, I guess it would help if I put it on to the scraper instead of the canvas. And maybe a little bit more right there, right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll just go right over the edge of that. And we're gonna pull this through. Perfect. So we got a nice solid block of red. Let's do one more and we'll actually do it right next to the other one. And then we'll maybe move on to the smaller scraper and see if we can kind of get maybe a little bit red up there or maybe down here right under this one. So let's push this paint down a little bit and put it on our scraper. Hope you guys can see that. All right. And we'll go ahead and go right next to these other colors. And I'm gonna pull it pretty, pretty hard down there. And I got a little bit kind of on there. So what we'll do is we'll move on to the small scraper and we'll actually just use this paint so it doesn't get wasted. And we'll go right, right down here, right next to the other one. And we'll just kind of pull that through, flatten it out a little bit, maybe uh, get the edge. Actually, can you see that all the way? Okay, perfect. I'll actually move that just a little bit. So you guys can see it, perfect. All right, so let's see if we can kind of get a little more coverage out of it. All right, so we're good there. And we're good there. I think we'll kind of move on to another color. I'm starting to get it on my hands, but that's okay. All right, so let's move on to this purple that we got here. And let's see what colors, maybe we can go right there and maybe down right there with the purple. So let's get that purple on there. And we will pull that bad boy through. <clears throat> let's go. We'll go right here. We're gonna overlap a little bit. Okay, well, kind of mix those colors, but that's actually kind of a cool look, so we're gonna leave it. We'll do a little bit more. And we'll move up, up here. And I'm gonna kind of push this to the edge right there and then pull it down. <clears throat> All right, a little bit more. I'm just gonna kind of go over over time just to kind of get a little bit more distance out of it. And that's fine. So these gaps that we have, we can kind of go over once they're a little dry. Um, we can kind of fill those in with some other colors. So it's really not that big a deal. Um, let's see, maybe we could do this purple somewhere else, like maybe a small strip here, because this is already starting to dry. Uh, maybe another like strip here with the purple. I could do up there on that top area. Just trying to give it a little bit of balance. So why don't we go ahead and do the purple right here, kind of right next to it. And we'll go ahead and, we'll just go ahead and do that. So we'll put our purple on there. And we'll go right next to the yellow. I'm gonna try to pull it down a little bit and get some, some coverage. Okay, so I don't like this little gouge that it left, but it is what it is. All right, so I think we're going yeah, on the purple. What else do we got here? We got uh, blue. So let's go ahead and run into the blue. And where can we put this blue? Looks like we've got some area here we could do the blue. So maybe we'll do that and then right there. And then maybe this little strip right here of blue. So let's go ahead and let's throw our blue on there. We'll use this kind of medium sized scraper. And we're just gonna go right, right over that and just kind of pull right through it. And it's gonna start to mix those colors a little bit. I mean, that's gonna happen. We're gonna try to just pull right over that. 
All right, so we're making some progress. I'm gonna put a little bit more on and actually go the opposite direction. See if I can, can kind of meet up with that other line. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, again, we can kind of cover it up later. All right, so now what we'll do is we'll pull this into that, um, kind of pulling that same color over. And we'll just, just put kind of a thick layer on there right there to kind of meet up with it. And actually, we'll just pull that right into that. Perfect. And we can go ahead and, oh, we'll do it right there. That's what we said. Now at this point, it's probably gonna start mixing. I may actually just use this one from this point on, uh, cause it's gonna start mixing the colors, which is gonna give it kind of a, a unique look. Um, and kind of a, uh, that's what, the colors mixing will kind of start to give it like that uniqueness. Um, so I'm actually gonna do one more blue right over here and we're gonna pull it through and kind of kind of overlap some of these colors. So now we're gonna start pushing through the other colors, uh, maybe rotating through the colors that we've already used. And I'm just gonna see if we have any other colors that might go with this that we haven't used. I do have like a pink here. Uh, that might be the same color. Uh, magenta. Yeah, it is. Okay, that's fine. All right, so now we'll just kind of start using the same colors that we've already used, but pulling through them again and kind of mixing them uh, together. So we're gonna start filling in those gaps where we left uh, the paint, where there isn't paint. So kind of like we'll go right here. So that's gonna start pulling those colors together. And you can kind of see that now we're getting uh, the mixture. It's gonna kind of make these different colors. And we'll actually use this little scraper to kind of pull the paint off and then reapply it to the edge. Just cause uh, once it's back further on that, you're gonna have more difficulty uh, getting those colors. So I'm gonna add some yellow on top of that. And where can we, we, we can go ahead and put the yellow right here. So let's just kind of put it and it's gonna be almost a bridge. So we'll just bridge those colors right there. All right, now we're getting a lot of kind of mixture there. We almost, we don't want too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and scrape the rest off and we'll move into another color that we already used. So it looks like we've got this, uh, this turquoise. So maybe we can start going over uh, different parts with the turquoise. So we'll go ahead and apply that one. And I guess I could be smart enough to always put the lid at the top so I don't keep running into this issue where it's going over itself. All right, so we'll go over this area right here and we're gonna start making smaller squares. We're not gonna make these large squares like we did um, kind of in the back. Um, so, we, and again, we kind of want to make it balanced. So I think we'll do like one more of the green up there. So probably like right there. We'll push it out, kind of pull it down here. We're, we'll go over it with these other colors and it'll start to pull those colors together. All right, so now we've got that. Um, we can move into red. I actually have two different reds and I'm trying to figure out if having two different reds is gonna make a difference. I, I don't think I wanna go that route. So we'll go ahead and just add some red on there. And what we'll do is now that we have the red on here, we'll add a little bit of the blue and see if we can kind of get some new colors going. It's gonna make probably, you know, a purple uh, is what I would assume. So we'll kind of go over right here. All right. And we've got some open space right here. So we'll mix it right there. All right, so we've got that going. Let's go ahead and move into, let's do a purple and red. And let's see if we can make something happen here. All right, so we're gonna fill in some of those gaps there. And we've got an open spot here. So let's see if we can kind of fill that in too. Perfect. All right, now let's uh, let's see what else we got. So we got this green, we've got that. 
Um, now we can start to kind of mess around with it where we mix the colors on the actual scraper. Um, Cause now we kind of want this distinction. If we just keep going over the same colors, it's really just gonna be very basic, not very exciting. Um, so now we're gonna pull this through right here and we're gonna go over ones that we already did. We're gonna pull that through. So now we've got kind of this other new color over it and we can kind of touch this up right there pulling some of these previous colors through to make a new color and we can try the purple i think with maybe the the green so we'll do this uh, magenta and then this teal or turquoise whatever it is i think it's teal and we'll go right here. And let's go over here. So there is some white showing from the bottom, like the canvas. So I'm trying to kind of pull that through to cover that up, because there is a lot of it and we don't want the, the raw canvas to necessarily come through. So we're kind of doing a two-fold approach. We're making these new colors to kind of blend it in, but also to cover up any empty spots. You know, if I had covered the background um, a solid color beforehand, that probably would have helped. Although I haven't done too many of these paintings. What I'm thinking maybe next time is doing maybe big blocks of the color. So like sectioning it out with however many colors we use, uh, maybe six colors and doing six individual squares. So we'll start with big, six big squares that covers the whole thing. And then we start moving into mixing the paint. So maybe we'll try that next time with this pixel painting. Um, again, I, I haven't done two. I've actually only done one of these and turned out about the same as this. So not an expert on it. We're learning together. So let's go ahead and uh, throw some of this yellow on there and then let's uh, let's put some red because I'm a big fan of those two colors kind of being side by side, very vibrant colors, action colors. And it looks like we're running out. So let's see if we can get some more on there. All right, cool. So we can put this bad boy right over here. Um, we've got two spots. I think I'll probably do two different little uh, variants there. So let's pull that over that. And that actually made a pretty nice like sunset color almost. So we're gonna pull that over that and see if we can kind of fill in these gaps here. I'm gonna pull this paint down here there we go. All right, so now we've got now we've got that little square covered. Perfect. Let's see if we can do something up there. So I think I'm running low on the yellow too. Feels like it. And let's see. Let's add a little bit of this uh, turquoise or teal. And let's put this up here with this other one. So we're actually gonna cover up these other ones and we're gonna kind of fill in this glaring white spot right there, perfect. And we've still got quite a bit of paint on there. I'm gonna kind of push this down here. So I'm gonna push this down towards the edge so it can get scraped. And I think what we'll do is we'll fill in this spot here. There. Okay, so now we've got a couple of spots right there where we've got some openings and we've got that top area. So now what I'm thinking of doing is kind of the opposite of what we've been doing just now of the mixing colors. Now we'll kind of move back into just doing solid colors and this hopefully will kind of balance the painting out. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw some yellow on here and we're just gonna do yellow by itself because I mean, a lot of painting is about balance or having some kind of structure, even if it's abstract. You, I mean, having kind of an idea of what you're trying to go for still, I, I feel like it can kind of show in the painting. Um, so we're gonna kind of fill in these gaps here. 
So we're gonna do the predominant color and maybe we'll do, I kinda wanna fill that in, these little white spots. Okay, perfect. So now we're, we're getting some of that predominant color with a little bit of mixture, which is fine. That's actually gonna tie those colors in together. Um, so we've got that, I feel like we have a lot of red, so I feel like we don't need to do any red. Maybe a little bit of blue. So maybe I could do a little bit more blue. Um, let's throw some more yellow in there. So put that there, put some yellow on it. Oh, got quite a bit. And of course it all went to the back of the scraper, why not? Let's see if I can move that forward. All right, perfect. All right, so let's go ahead and fill in this little gap here. Perfect. And we'll, we'll actually just fill in this final gap up here. Okay, so now pretty much all of the painting is full. Um, we'll do some blue to hopefully kind of balance out some of the rest of it. Those colors will inevitably mix a little bit, which is fine. So let's do some blue here. We'll just do a, a small little scrape right there. And let's just do, well, we've got already blue here. So let's see if we can kind of pull into that. Yeah, that's fine. And we got a little bit there. I think we're okay on that. We've got the big block of it here. So now at this point, what we can do is just kind of fill in some of the heavy areas where it's just one solid color um, with the other colors. So like, for example, there's a lot of uh, the red here. So we're just going to put kind of a solid block, uh, probably right about here. And this is going to kind of um, tame it I guess is, is what I would say. So because it's so heavy and red, we're, we're trying to kind of, again, balance it out. We're gonna put a little bit of purple on it and, and tame it out. So we're gonna put a nice uh, chunk of that over that. We've got a lot of the green over here. The green is fine. Um, actually, we missed a little bit on the edge, so I'm actually going to fill that in. So I'll just fill that in with this. Again, not an expert in these kinds of paintings, so I do apologize. All right, so we got that, and we got some solid colors. We do have a lot of this um, this teal kind of predominant in the painting. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, we only have a little bit of yellow, so maybe to break this up, we could do kind of a yellow overlap over this, and. We'll just kind of do like a little, little square over that. And that's going to kind of break that up a little bit. I think that's pretty good. Maybe we can cover up some of these other seams. Like here, I feel like there's a lot of red. Um, maybe we can do something with that. So maybe just a, a pull right through here of uh, some other color. Maybe we'll do uh, the blue. Sounds like there's an ice cream man. All right, so we got that, and we'll go ahead and add a little bit of the purple, and we'll see which one comes out on top. <clears throat> so, looks like some hair got on there. All right, so we're gonna kind of overlap that. All right, so we're good there. And let's go ahead and pull that just to kind of break that up a little bit. All right. Now we've got this seam here. I kind of don't like that little seam there. There's a lot of yellow up there. The red's on both sides. Um, and then there's blue. So it's like, there's not really a whole lot we could do right there that isn't already there. Um, but, I guess we could probably do a little bit of the red and well, the red is the only one that's not there even though it's right there. So, you know, with this limited palette, it's kind of difficult. 
Let's see if, uh, if we can put this bad boy on here, if there's any more. I think this color, I used it yesterday, and it was a little bit, just a little bit uh, different color than the other one. It's a little darker. So we've got that, and then maybe we can add just a little bit of yellow to it, just to kind of change it up. There's a lot of yellow over there, but we're just gonna do it anyway. So we'll put that thick layer on there, and you can't even see the turquoise anyway because of all the other colors. All right, so we got that, we're good there. Um, I'm gonna do a small one here just to kind of pull that into itself. And then we also have a, a huge kind of layer here. So I'm gonna run over that with those colors and kind of get rid of them. I think we're good there. Um, maybe I'll do a little bit, or maybe I'll do three colors and kind of pull that through. It's actually kind of coming along. So there's two areas, this area and this area, um, where I feel like it needs a little bit more uh, color. So I think to finish this off, we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the three primary colors. So I'm gonna do yellow, and then I'm gonna do, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'm gonna do yellow, and I'm gonna try to get the rest of this red, and then we'll do a little bit of blue. Oh, this is a different blue. Huh. Oh well, let's see what it looks like. All right, so we've got those on there. So we're gonna pull that through. We're gonna kind of run it to the edge. And we're gonna pull that through. That's gonna give us a, a little bit of a, a different breakup in the colors. And then there's this little area right here where I feel like there's just not anything going on. So we're gonna pull that through and kind of uh, bring those together. Well, actually, I'm gonna pull that over that so that it kind of pulls all those together. And we've got a little bit of room right there. So let's just do that. Yeah, just a little bit. Okay, so I'm done. Uh, I'm gonna stop there. Uh, ultimately, it's, it's interesting. I think that I probably, like I said, uh, should have done like a, a so, like colored background. Again, this isn't um, you know my expertise. There's people who do these types of paintings and they actually turn out really cool, very very interesting. Um, yeah, so that's probably it. I probably just didn't. Uh, I should have painted the background so colors that way they would have come through, and then we could have done more squares on top of each other. Ultimately, it's it's interesting. It's very colorful. I don't think that I really prefer it. Um, so ultimately, I wouldn't I wouldn't say that I like this painting. Uh, but again, it's just some it's something to try. So if you're looking to just try something different, you can try it. Maybe do a colored background and then start layering the different colors on top of each other, and just kind of see where that gets you. I think maybe next time we'll. We probably won't do another one of these, at least not anytime soon. We'll probably stick to, uh, we'll probably head into the gloss enamel and do some gloss enamel paintings because it's been a little while since I've used them. So anyways, that's it for the video guys. Here, let me go ahead and show you guys the painting. That's the finished piece. It's kind of a mess to be honest with you. So it is what it is and Sometimes you do what you can. So, I don't know. I'm just kind of reflecting on it. Anyways, guys, that's it for the video. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. God bless and stay safe. Bye, guys.